what is up everybody how y'all doing today well actually today is the same day for me that uh we left off the last video with um i'm still at the shaw in uh savannah you know there was three plants here um so i went over to the second plant i got a load out of here at the second plant the wp plant let me just say this anybody out there that watches my content if you drive a truck and you get dispatched to the shaw and savannah stay away stay away at all cost especially if you're picking up um well i'll say if you're bringing a load too um just, just stay away it's been nothing but a nightmare for me um what i didn't get footage of in the last video if you watched it um I leave off and I'm getting unloaded. I went to look for an empty. I couldn't find an empty. So I hooked back up to the trailer that I dropped at the door that had the load on it and just waited for them. You know, I went and told somebody, hey, I'm back under this one. I'm going to wait for y'all to unload it. So they're in the process of unloading that trailer, which is the trailer that I have with me now. I still have it. It's empty. But um, they were in the process of unloading that trailer. And I thought, okay, they should be getting about done. Well, about that time somebody comes and knocks on my door and the guy says hey you're in the wrong place i start laughing and said yeah that's funny no i'm not he said yeah you are and i said no i went inside checked in asked them if i was in the right place they said yeah i said i even got the bills here that uh, signed off on they signed off on it said i was in the right place he started shaking his head and rolling his eyes he said yeah those guys in there don't know nothing i said well why in the hell are they working in a receiving department if they don't know anything? Beats the hell out of me. But anyways, this guy was dead ass serious. He told me I was in the wrong place. So he said that he cannot receive the load. I said, well, your guys, you know, and I was still feeling the forklift coming on and off the truck as we were speaking. And I pointed back and I said, well, your guys unload me. He said, no, they're actually putting it back on. I said, oh, well, okay. I said, well, let me call dispatch and see what they say. Um, the bills I got, I did notice when I picked them up Friday, where the address usually is, it says L2. Well, L2 is the plant directly across the street in Ringgold, Georgia, where I picked the load up from. But all it had was L2, and then under that it said address not available. Usually I'll cross-reference the address with what... Um, dispatch sends me and if the addresses you know don't add up then i'll usually uh mention it to somebody or bring it to somebody's attention and we'll you know get the right address figure out which one's the right one i'm supposed to go to well in this instance i really didn't do anything because i don't know if this guy needs his door or i might have to move but anyways um I didn't really pay much attention to it because the address wasn't there and like I said the L2 plan is directly across the street from where I'm picking it up at so obviously I'm like yeah it's not going across the street the yard dog could do that plus dispatch has already told me Savannah whatever anyway so I'm here um, but yeah I, I told him that um, the address I got was here I went in the people told me I was in the right place whatever but anyways I, I called dispatch and let them know they called customer service they got it worked out what happened is apparently shaw didn't put it in their system right or they made a mistake when they put it in their system so i was actually at the right place so i had to, i got the guy that come and talk to me i said well hey hold on what's your name and what's your number so i can get back in touch with you i don't want to go inside and uh you know have to hunt you down or nobody know where you are or anything like that. But anyways i got his name and number so after talking to millis and they said all right everything should be worked out now see what they say see if they see it on the system now i called him he looked yes seen it on the system so four and a half hours later they get me unloaded so yeah i sat there four and a half hours waiting to be re-unloaded they unloaded me the first time fairly quick so uh yeah waiting on them to get me unloaded after they reloaded me took four and a half hours so now i'm over here at the other plant uh hit dispatch tell them i'm empty you know ready for dispatch whatever so they sent me over here to this building to get loaded i go inside and first the guy's taking a sweet time he's running here doing this going over there doing that doing that and uh you know it's just kind of half-ass ignoring me um 
half-ass acknowledging me but half-ass ignoring me well he finally gets me information and well he comes over there and slaps piece of paper down and says you got your information here he'll write it here you know kind of rude and i'm like oh okay so i write my information down he finally gets back to it after several minutes then he uh goes off he says i'll be right back and then he comes out of another office over there then a lady's falling and then she comes over starts looking at the computer he was working on then she walks over to me and said what time was your appointment i said i didn't have one i said dispatch sent me you know anytime between 7 a.m and 4 p.m she rolled her eyes of course and just giving a rude gesture she's like oh no oh no you have to have an appointment yeah and i'm kind of throwing my hands up on well nobody told me that they just said you know anytime just come pick it up all day nope need an appointment uh we're, we're booked we're not gonna be able to take you so anyways uh after that she uh goes over and talks with the guy again they're talking back and forth for a minute and then she comes over and says hold on a minute i'm gonna see if i can get you in another building okay cool so she walks off she's gone for about 20 minutes so i look at the other guy and i said did she say she was gonna go try to get me in a door another building isn't that what she said um Where'd she go? I just don't want to be standing here thinking that's what she said and that's not what... He said, oh yeah, that's what she said. She's going to try to see if she can get you in another building. Okay, cool. Well, a few minutes later, she comes back. She talks to him and then she comes over and tells me, look, we're going to put you in a door, but being that you don't have an appointment, we're going to unload you, but if somebody comes in with an appointment, we're going to have to stop unloading you and go unload them. Okay, whatever, cool. I'm standing there, standing there, standing there. The guy comes after about 20 minutes of that, repeats it to me, and I'm like, yeah, she just told me. So then I'm standing there and I'm waiting and waiting and waiting. And then he comes to me and he said, well, she said she might have to put you in another building. I said, okay, so I'm not going in the door now. I'm going back to possibly in another building. Yeah. Well, I'm waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. He disappears. Finally, the lady that was in there, she comes back and I stand there for a few minutes thinking she's gonna come to me after she gets done, you know, doing what she's doing in the little area. Nope, I had to call her over there. And I'm like, hey, so you're gonna put me in a door, another building? What? She's like, oh, oh, he didn't tell you to go to another? No, he did not tell me. He said that you were saying you might have to put me in another, but that was it. He didn't tell me nothing. Well, this dude done left and went to lunch. He ain't told me shit. So I'm sorry for cussing. I know I say I do it and I apologize to y'all. I'm gonna work on it, but I'm kind of hot right now. I'm 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 sorry. But um, yeah, anyways, he don't went to lunch. He ain't said nothing. Just disappeared. So I, I've stood in there an hour waiting on these people. And then she gives me a doggone this address here. It says here, go there. This ain't even here. It's like six or eight miles up the road. I'm not just leaving here, just blindly driving to another place because you told me to. So I contact dispatch, tell them what's going on. That was them there sending me the message back. I'm sure letting me know what's going on. I told them about all this crap. They supposed to be working it out. But yeah, that's where I'm at now. I'm hot. Stay away from this place. It's the WP plant. This place is a freaking nightmare. My whole day has been wasted. Uh, it took me two hours just under three hours to get here from leaving at 4 a.m it is 12 35 i only have five hours and 10 minutes left on my clock because i've been sitting up here dealing with these idiots up here yeah yep i always try to be calm laid back smiling happy but it's kind of hard to do that here so if that's the kind of videos that you got used to i'm sorry I will get back to making those just after today maybe even later today but right now i'm hot i'm a little upset let me vent <laughs> but yeah that's all i got now let me uh let me get on here and see what they're telling me to do i'll get with y'all later peace what is up everybody how y'all doing today me i'm doing better it's a new day Sorry about the uh, first part of this video, but as I said, I was hot. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I'm good. We're in uh, Adairsville. Adairsville, Adairsville, however you want to say it. Tomato, tomato. But uh, it's just north of Atlanta. We're at the Shaw plant, dropping this load. I uh, got to put it in a slot A14. He's got me his bobtail coming in because uh, I don't know if I'm taking the load out of here yet or not. They never told me. So we'll find that out when I hit ready. So we'll get up here, put this in the hole. 
uh, let dispatch know that I'm empty, hit ready, and they'll either tell me to grab a load out of here, or they will tell me to grab an empty. A14 should be Rachel. <clears throat> Well, 16, 16, four, oh, I was about to say there wasn't numbered. I didn't see the numbers down there. All right, so that's my hole right there. Nobody's behind us. Yeah, it threw me off for a minute. I uh, was looking for the numbers. I didn't see them. I guess the gravel had it covered on the, uh, on the first ones back there. Plus the trailers were sticking out a little bit further so they were kind of over it i was looking for them a little further back but found it found it found it hope my battery don't die it probably will battery will probably die halfway through this i got like 23 percent but if y'all are familiar with gopro you know that's pretty much zero <laughs> these things they just storm through batteries it's ridiculous Oh, come on. Get in there. Yeah, looking good. I like that one. Oh, we might get it. Oh, man. A little closer to that trailer than I like. Ah, that was almost perfect. I was watching the crack. I don't know if you can see it in the mirror. I was watching the crack on the concrete, keeping myself straight. So that's what I was going with. And then when I get it in there, I think I'm good. Everything's looking great. And then I turn and look and the uh, trailer I thought was crooked. Actually, you know, sitting here looking in front of me. If you look at those lines and the way that trailer is, I'm straight with that trailer. So this trailer beside me, which I thought was crooked, is actually straight. Just obviously there's lines in the concrete right there cut crooked so yeah see I'm okay right there I could leave it but like I told y'all before I don't like that I'd rather center it up a little bit I just personally feel like I can do a little better you know just uh, make some space on this side like I said I know it was in there and it was good But I just had too much room on this side that I like. So now had I had lines, I'm backing up on gravel. So had I had actual painted lines, then you know I would have judged off of them. But in this case, I'm just judging off of the overall hole that I have. So let's go slide the tendons. Oh, another thing that I forgot to tell you guys on this uh, this load here is uh oh yeah see see how crooked that line is that line's crooked like that so it threw me off I was back into it thinking that I was actually perfect and then when I get in here crooked because the line's crooked uh, what was that oh uh, yeah so another thing to go with all the crap from yesterday um, the load sheet that they gave me said 41,500 pounds, which, okay, not that bad. Um, I try to adjust the tandems. And then I'm looking at my gauge up here and I'm reading heavy. No, like, man, I shouldn't be that heavy with the tandems where they're at with the load only weighing, you know, what it says it, it weighs. So I move it again, I move it again, keep sliding it around. My gauge isn't really getting where I like it. You know, I've, I've seen that, come on. Back up. But my gauge really isn't getting to where I like it at. So I looked at the load, so I know the load was uh, spread out fairly even, you know, so it wasn't uh, a jacked up load or how they loaded it. 
So anyways, I get it, you know, as close as I can. And my tandems, I still have like four holes, I think, to slide before my tandems are all the way forward. Ah, I'm talking. And I didn't do it. I'm talking and I didn't do it. <laughs> but I caught it. That's a good thing. But anyways, the uh, my tandems only had like four more holes to slide to where my tandems will be all the way forward. And I knew that couldn't be right. So I didn't want to slide them forward anymore because I knew it'd be, you know, start being heavy on my tandems. Um, so... Heard that truck turning around, didn't know what the hell was going on. Um, but yeah, I knew that it was just gonna make me even heavier on my tandems. And with the load being 41,000 pounds, I was like, no, the tandems, something, something isn't right. So uh, I just felt like that they lied on the weight and that I was way heavier than what they was trying to say I was. Well, I started driving down the road and you can immediately tell that something wasn't right. The truck was just bouncing real bad. So I knew the weight wouldn't uh, wouldn't even, you know, and so uh, I finally get to some scales this morning. I tried to find some scales yesterday, but uh, there was none between where I was leaving and where I stopped at. So I got to some scales first thing this morning, and yeah, I'm way overweight on my uh, on my drives up here. So I have to adjust it. I actually uh, had to slide. Where am I at, actually? Um, two holes. Yeah, two holes for me and all the way up. So I had to adjust it one more. Um, but my gross was 79,880 pounds. There is no way in hell this load in this trailer weighed 41,500 pounds. I mean, I take beer loads, uh, have taken beer loads a lot that is 45,000 plus 46,000 plus and my gross is I mean it's been close to that so yeah they definitely lied about the weight on this one for sure um actually um don't tell nobody you know uh we're not gonna put this out like on social media or YouTube platform for everybody to know so just keep it between you and I <laughs> but I'm still like 200, can't remember exactly what it was, 220 pounds I think, over on my drives and 160 pounds I think over on my tandem. But I kept it a little heavier on my drives because I knew that I would be burning fuel off. So it would be, you know, getting lighter and lighter. I did just uh, fill up but I filled up at the Cartersville terminal, which is only, what was it, like 15 miles, 10 miles up the road, so it's not far to go. Plus, I didn't pass any scales, so I went ahead and filled up there. So I know that I was way over on my uh, drives after that. But, um, yep, that's that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, you know what? I had to strap this load. I sent pictures. To Millis, I told them that when they uh, I drew a blank for a minute. I told them that when they loaded this, that they had it all jacked up. There's damage to boxes. Boxes are laid over. So I took the pictures and sent them in. So I wouldn't be held responsible for the load as you can see that's leaning back um if you can see that up there it's just i mean you have damage the board on top of that is just crushed the pallet up there is leaning it's already on the sidewall all the pallets up top i jumped up there and looked and they're just all shifted and moving yeah it's uh it's terrible anyways i sent pictures and told them you know i just wanted them to be aware i didn't want it to get here then the customer here, they're like, oh, your driver shifted the load. No, the driver did not shift the load. That is how it was loaded. So I got an email this morning uh, from them and they, you know, 
was thanking me for sending the pic pictures in and said that uh, she sent it to to Shaw and they were sending it to you know some of their other people making them aware of you know how it was loaded but I'm sure nothing will happen like I said you know that place that I was at it had horrible reviews anyway so those people obviously don't care not saying Shaw themselves but just the employees that work there obviously don't care so I'm gonna put this back I usually don't break the seal but I had to get my strap back so that's the only way to get it back so yeah I'm gonna uh, fold this up and I'm going to message dispatch let them know I'm empty let them know that I'm ready and see what they tell me either I'll pick up a load here or they'll tell me to grab an empty and send me somewhere else to pick a load but yeah I figured out uh, well just like that the battery died I told you it would I figured it would I was waiting for it so uh we got our next load I'm not taking an empty or a uh load from here I'm actually gonna bobtail back to the Cartersville yard and pick up my load from there and it's going to Fairburn I hate that route Cartersville to Fairburn it's just I don't know just hate it it's crap it's crap it's crap it's crap but yeah anyways uh oh one thing i do want to show y'all this i do want to show y'all this because i realized see i'm still at the same trailer but i realized that i didn't do this on film so just in case some of you called me and said hey i did check see it's locked it is locked so when i slid the tandems i remember putting the trailer in the hole and unhooking it um after my battery died when i was walking by back with the strap as i was wrapping it up i thought about it i was like oh crap so i did double check and surprisingly i stopped where i needed to stop actually so it worked out pretty good so they are locked so those of you that spotted that hope you're happy i did it i got it i'm a rookie can't remember everything well i yeah, I guess the old saying goes, you can't remember everything, but the good part is, I remembered it. I might forget here or there. See, I hate these things. It's hard to paint in the ass. But I might forget here and there, but the main thing is, I remember overall and do it. Or at least double check myself and make sure it's done. Alright, so, you got to turn my slip in up here probably put y'all down for that sometimes security don't like being filmed don't film me okay no problem I won't film you <clears throat> I do want to show you something up here though funny story I wish I was actually going across the scale so you could really see but I'll drive in line with it like I'm gonna drive over it. I want you to see something. I mean, I obviously see it now because I know it's there. But can you see a speed bump? The shadow's hidden just right on it today, so it stands out more prominent than it normally is. But there's a speed bump there. One particular day I was coming and I was paying attention, driving slow like I am now, looking obviously wasn't paying attention good enough but the speed bump is concrete the same color as the ramp it all blended in and it still does to this day even though that i know it's there i look at it and it's still certain days depending on where the sun is or if it's overcast or not it really blends in and you can't see it um <laughs> but my trainer when i was on his truck it was funny he uh he had a student before me that i seen the video they pulled it up show me the video it was hilarious but the guy he tells him to pull off the edge of the road but there's big potholes oh you can't even call them potholes i mean these things are like deep they will swallow an 18 wheel but anyway he tends to be real careful easy 
Well, this guy just pulls off at like 25 mile an hour, just whoop off the road, bounces him all around in the video, <laughs> the in, in camera, uh, in truck view or whatever. It shows in, uh, my trainer, he's just bouncing all over the seat. Stuff's coming all out of the uh, compartments up there and everything. It's really funny. But anyways, I went across that speed bump and didn't catch it and uh yeah it uh the damn front wheels felt like they come off the ground it hit boom and stuff went to fly only one thing really and actually i think it's my juice pack right there my uh pack that i put in water to turn it to juice um it uh I had it up there in his truck too, but it popped out and fell on him. And he's like, God darn it, I'm tired of your trainees putting, uh, dropping stuff on my head. And he wasn't pissed. He was making fun of it, you know, but uh, <laughs> it was funny. We both laughed about it. But anyways, uh, just thought about that. Wanted to show you all that. It, it blends in. It really does. Uh, it took me by surprise. It really did. I mean, <laughs> the camera come on in our truck and everything. But yeah, I hit that joker hard. Well, I mean, I, it bounced hard i hit it harder than i should as a speed bump but i mean i was still going slow as i was driving back there a while ago like i told you i was going slow but still one of these big heavy trucks on a speed bump like that it don't matter how slow you go that thing will bounce the mess out of me but yeah i figured uh y'all get a kick out of that i'm gonna clip the video right here uh, like i said i might have to put y'all down when security comes out anyway but i gotta give him this little slip back and then I'll be bobtailing to Seaville, and uh, I'll catch y'all guys in a bit. Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? It is the next day, so it is a new day. It is dark, but it is morning. Just got started um, well, probably about 45 minutes ago. I am headed to, don't know if I said in my last video, as I said, it's a new day, and I went to sleep, and I forgot half of everything I learned yesterday. No, just kidding. <laughs> I really can't remember though if I uh, if I did a video after I found out where I was going or whatever. But anyways, we're going to, Mora uh, gosh, Marana, Florida? Mariana, Florida? Mariana, Florida. Maybe that's, I don't know, Mariana, Marania. It's not Marania, it's Mariana, Florida. Why can't I think this way? It's too early too early i hadn't even had my coffee yet um, but yeah um we're headed to florida we're in or just left phoenix city alabama uh not long ago uh we are two hours from our destination that's gonna put us there about it says about 5 47 but you know our appointment is at seven o'clock um time change uh we'll soon be getting into the time zone here i'm still currently in the eastern time zone i'll be going obviously to the central time zone here so my appointment is seven o'clock central obviously because it is at the shipper or at the receiver which is in central time so um but yeah that's uh a question for you I don't do many night video. Well, it's not night; it's morning, but dark. I don't do many dark videos. Um, let me know if y'all are okay with uh, dark footage like this or not so much. If you want me to stick mostly to day, I know it's hard to see, and there's really not much to see other than you know dash lights and a little bit of a uh, light on the road, if you can even see that. But yeah, just uh, I don't know. Give me, leave a comment and tell me what you think. If you want me to stick to all day videos, that's what we'll do. If you're fine with either or, I'll do some uh, night shots like I'm doing now. Like I said, I normally don't do it that often, but yeah. I'm gonna get over here and pay attention to the road. I'm gonna get on up here to the destination. I think this video is probably long enough as it is. I just released a video this morning. I edited it last night. Um, it's for the, the Shaw video. Uh, it was, it come out 40, 40 something minutes. I apologize if that's too long. 
that's another uh, another question I have for you too. Uh, leave in the comments. Do y'all like longer videos? Do y'all like shorter videos? Give me, uh, I don't know, just uh, if y'all would just comment a time frame and then I'll maybe take an average from however many of you post. How long do you like the videos? Uh, do you like them around 20 minutes? Do you like them around 40 minutes? Do you like them around 30? Just let me know. I don't want to uh, make them too long where you, you know, I understand that people have stuff to do, so I don't want to make it too long to where I hold you up. And, you know, obviously I want to make it long enough. Don't want to make it too short. I want to make it long enough where it keeps your interest. But yeah, just let me know. Anyways, I'm gonna get up here to where we're going. Like I said, this video is probably long enough as it is. I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my subscribers. Uh, thank you to you if you're not subscribed and you're watching right now. Um, I would ask if you're watching and you hadn't subscribed, please do. I uh, would love to have you. Um, appreciate you watching. That goes to everybody, subscribers and non. Make sure you hit that like button, only if you like it. I've gotten a thumbs down, which I'm okay with. I don't care, I've told you before, if you don't like it, I wouldn't expect you to give it a thumbs up. I wouldn't expect you to like something that you don't. So, if you see something, I mean, of course, I would hope you wouldn't give me a thumbs down, but if you see something you don't like, click that thumbs down. I mean, it's your opinion. Don't bother me either way, but yeah. Uh, Give me a thumbs up share my content subscribe make sure you hit that bell hit all that way you'll get all of my notifications you'll get notifications for all the videos that i upload but yeah that's going to do it and i'll catch y'all on the next one peace